Mouse Shapes by Ellen Stoll Walsh. The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. Let's hide in here, said Martin. After a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. Look, we've been hiding in shapes, said Violet. We can make things with them. Here's a square. A triangle on top makes it a perfect house for a little mouse. A triangle and a rectangle make a tree, said Martin. This circle is the sun. But these triangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet. But any shape with three sides is a triangle. Fred put two circles on a rectangle. It's a wagon for the little mouse in the house, he said. Two diamonds make a book for the little mouse to read, said Violet. Here's one oval, two circles, and eight triangles, said Martin. It's a fish. Watch out, the cat likes fish, said Violet. Hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. Violet put on the eyes and nose. Fred stuck on the ears. And Martin added the teeth. It looks just like the real cat, he said, only better. Just then, the real cat pounced. The mice ran away and didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat's too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. The clever mice got to work. Soon they made three big scary mice. And surprised the cat. The cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now what can we make for the little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. So they did. Thank you for reading along with me, my friends. 